Welcome to another lesson with Ming. Today we talk about quartiles, and the questions that we are interested in is how do we represent distribution in a set of data? Here we have three examples where we look at median, first quartile, third quartile, and the interquartile range for three set of data. Right, first we look at first quartile. What does the first quartile mean? The first quartile means usually represent using Q1, that is 25% of the data is below this number, whereas the third quartile is usually written this way or 75 percentile. That means below this number, there's 75 percent of the data. And the interquartile range is usually written as IQR, basically is Q3 minus Q1. That is the middle 50 percent of the data. We start by rearranging the number from small to large and then in order to find the median basically the middle di number in the distribution we just simply cancel the we match the last and the first number up together and we just keep on cancelling and we find that the one that is not being cancelled number 21 that is the median so median here is 21, that is below 21, there are 50% of the data, and above 21, there are another 50% of the data. Next, we consider the first quartile. In order to consider the first quartile, we basically have to look at all the number below 21. So I have these five numbers. And I do the same process, and you can see that 8 is not being matched with any numbers. So 8 is the first quartile, Q1, that is below 8, that is 25% of the data. And similarly, for the third quartile, we consider this set of data, and 25 is the middle of this distribution, and this is the third quartile, that is below 25, there are 75% of the data. So the interquartile range in this case is 25 minus 8 which is 17. Here is a summary of our results. Q1 being 8, Q3 being 25, median being 21. The interquartile range is 25 minus 8, 17. Here you may want to consider question 2. Pause the video and attempt the question 2 before pressing play. Good luck. Let us start by looking at the median. And do um, you get this? That is, the median happens between 5 and 6, so the answer is 5.5. Now we consider the first quartile. Because the median is between 5 and 6, so the first quartile I have to consider this 5, because 5 is not part of the median. So in this case, and you can see that the Q1 or the first quartile is going to be 5. And similarly, to find the third quartile, I need to consider 6, this 6, and uh, the third quartile is the number in between of this distribution, that is 7. So the interquartile range in this particular case is 7 minus 5, or just being 2. I hope you got everything correct. Here's another question for you to try out. Please pause the video and attempt this before you replay. Good luck. All right, welcome back. So you first arrange the number from small to large, like what I've done, and then I also did the cancellation and to find that the middle number here is 2. That's for the first quartile, I will consider this lower distribution. There are only four numbers. So the first quartile here is basically is 0 plus 1 divided by 2 or half, 0 0.5. Similarly, the third quartile happens in this set of data and is between 3 and 4 so the third quartile is 3.5 the interquartile range then in this case will be 3.5 minus 0.5 so the answer is 3 I hope you have learned something new for this from this video Write the definition of the following in your notebook. 
interquartile range and 50 percentile and also explain what's the difference between a 90th percentile from a 90 percent. Thank you.